I see you're up a little higher this week. Is that because you think you're better than me? No answer. Hey, everybody, you ready for some good news? First up, researchers at the University of Cambridge have found a way to enable graphene to act as a superconductor. Graphene, of course, is the incredible metamaterial made of a sheet of carbon one atom thick. It has many extraordinary properties that make it among the most versatile materials currently being studied by science. Now, the Cambridge researchers have discovered that combining it with another material called praseodymium cerium copper oxide, or PCCO, enables graphene to conduct electricity with zero resistance. In other words, to act as a superconductor. Superconducting graphene would have a multitude of applications from quantum computing to medical scanning to energy storage and transport. The implications of this for both research and applied science are almost unfathomable. The study on superconducting graphene is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, engineers at Colorado State University are working on a new material that could enable the creation of blood repellent medical implants. Why would blood repellent or hemophobic medical implants be a good thing? Because currently, one of the problems with using medical implants is getting them to operate without causing blood clots or infections. By using a specially designed super hemophobic form of titanium, Medical implants of the future could avoid the clotting and infection problems by simply avoiding contact with the blood altogether. This new engineered form of titanium is so repellent to blood cells that the blood surrounding it behaves as if it isn't there at all. No interaction with the blood means no clotting, no blockages, and no rejection by the body. The medical device can continue to do its work while the blood pays no attention. Well, you know what I mean. This is still in the early stages of research, so we're still some distance away from practical tests, but a very promising development nonetheless. The paper on this super hemophobic titanium surface is published in the journal Advanced Healthcare Materials. Can they start making like clothes and furniture out of cat hairophobic materials? Can we get somebody on that? Hello, are, you, are you listening? I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. Right there, right there. Anyway, finally, a new cognitive training program could offer some relief for people living with tinnitus. People with tinnitus hear sounds when there are no external sources present. Often it presents as a ringing or hissing sound. It affects an estimated 10 to 15% of people. And to some, it's not just an annoyance, but a contributing factor to anxiety and depression. It can also slow reaction times and lead to poorer memory. And while there are therapies designed to make it easier to live with, there is currently no effective medical treatment for tinnitus. Researchers at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis are working on a computer-based cognitive therapy program that is designed to counteract some of those negative effects of tinnitus. And so far, it seems effective. Patients with bothersome tinnitus completed a one-hour online brain fitness program once a day, five days a week, for eight weeks. At the end of the study, they were found to have improved memory, attention span, and concentration compared to patients in a control group. It's not a cure for tinnitus, but this kind of cognitive therapy could one day help to improve the lives of people living with this disorder. The results of this study are published in the journal JAMA Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery. Scientists find a way to use graphene as a superconductor. Engineers create special blood repellent titanium for medical devices. And researchers use computer-controlled cognitive therapy to counteract some of the negative effects of tinnitus. That's the good news. Were you paying attention at all? Or just be honest. Because I can't even tell. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. 
you can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.